so we are on the road here and I'm probably gonna make one pit stop before we actually get there but they're gonna be they're right next to each other on the same road and everything so I'm gonna be checking stuff out but yeah we're gonna be there pretty soon GPS says about 12 minutes and yeah nice rainy day to be doing this off-road blaze and then we got these new Fords and oh my gosh I can't believe how beautiful they are why is one sitting higher I guess one's probably a two-wheel drive or something I don't know but what does that say Tran Trans American Auto Parts we got that all these cool trucks here by the way and then we got four-wheel parts over here so we're gonna be checking out these places I don't know if you can get into the other place gosh this is sick and we got that cool second gen right there it could really use a full fourth gen bumper on it though American Auto Parts, yeah, I was right. Got a cool Ford right there, nice Blazer. Got some cool trucks down there. So this is four-wheel parts now open. We got that Chevy 1500. Yeah, they probably are gonna see the extreme truck damage now. Right. All right, guys, we just made it here. <laughs> Heading out of here, that was a cool place, man. But let's get back in the truck, it's freezing. <laughs> yeah, it was really cool. 
Yeah. So a lot of cool stuff in there. Bumpers, tires, wheel spacers, light bars, exhaust kits, brakes. Just basically everything you would need for a truck or Jeep. And honestly, we don't have any kind of store like that around in my area. I mean, this isn't that far, but still. I told one guy, I'm a YouTuber, and he said that it was in this other guy's YouTube channel. And this one guy said he had a video with 238,000 views or something. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's a lot of cool stuff in there. It's honestly a really nice building as well. It's a new warehouse building. And I'm still there, by the way. So then we try to take a walk down to the Trans American Auto Parts, and it's actually just corporate. I saw it even. I saw a logo for an office room that said Toyo Tires. You can get a good judgment online, but being able to see it in person really does help. And I do want to do want to go with some stuff down the road. So it's cool seeing all the parts there and all the outdoor equipment as well. Definitely a very nice store, and I would work there. Oh my gosh! Look at that Mountain Dew front plate and all. Thing is sick. And there is the thumbnail. That's how it's done. It's American corporate offices. They got the full wheel parts actual retail store, and then they got the entire warehouse full of these parts to either ship out or sell at the store. So there's never any, well, they can just get whatever part they want for you right at that retail store. So that's honestly one of the rid most ridiculous setups ever. That's pretty awesome. Should we wait for it? But there's a car behind us. Are you going to zoom in? There you go. Guys, here's the whole process that I have to do to be able to actually get out of this truck. And we're here at the Giant, right here. It's about to pick up a ton of salmon. <laughs> and we already check it out in the front of this. This is exactly what my truck used to look like. We got the chrome, we got the silver on the bottom, we got the chrome grill, the yellow emblem, of course. But I also, I also had the the grill guard. I didn't have the tow hooks. I did have that big plastic air dam on the bottom. It looks looks really low to the ground, but that's exactly what I used to look like. We're on the hunt here for the automotive products. So we're here at the automotive parts section. Looks like all they have is cleaner stuff. This is really disappointing. I really thought there'd be lift kits here or something at the local giant food stores. Mm -hmm. All right, so the main reason we're here is that I'm gonna try to get some fish. So here we are. There we go. Let's go. Red truck. I love that body style. The front end of that is beautiful. It's the one thing when I was getting class there. And we got it. Yeah. There's the grocery getter. <laughs> Right next to us, we got this Toyota Tundra right there. It's not feel good. Sick Toyota Tundra. All right, guys, sorry about the wind noise and everything, but I just wanted to wrap this video up here at this amazing building. So, yeah, we picked up all the salmon. If you guys are looking to hit the gym and get big muscles, you want to eat a lot of salmon, it's very healthy for you, very healthy for the brain to be able to think about new ideas for your trucks and truck mods and things of that nature. So. You also want to be strong to be able to carry around these big parts for these trucks and everything such as that. So I think some parts did arrive at my house, so tomorrow I may be doing some reveals on the parts. And then finally we'll be able to, gosh it's windy, finally we'll be able to drop off this truck, get that stuff fixed up. But I may be taking one thing to the body shop before that, I'm not really sure, I'm dealing with two body shops here. But of course we want to get this process moving, I want to get this process moving, it's taken a long time. But I think the parts are here, so that's pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you love trucks as much as I do, hit that subscribe button. Have a nice day!